Hey everyone, Brian here, Hodges1455, coming at you with another video. Today's video, I've got a handful of early 1950s baseball cards to get shared and put away in the collection. And this first one here is a 1954 Dick Crow. Shortstop for the Pittsburgh Pirates here. Love the yellow background. On this one just pops. Just a great shortstop for the Pirates and the Cardinals. A two-sport athlete. Played for Duke, and I believe he still holds the single game scoring record against North Carolina, which is pretty cool, 48 points. So he was a great basketball player as well, but really excited to get this card. Just love the yellow background and the Pirates logo and just all works. It's a really cool 54 tops card. And then three 1952 cards here. I start with the 52 Red Man of Hall of Famer Monty Irvin. Just love the artwork on these. And love how they put what I call the back on the front of these. So these make great display cards because they're a little bit larger than normal cards. But you can see here. So you can really see them well. It's really cool. This is what the back of the card looks like. But really fun to add a 1952 Hall of Famer to the collection. The Red Man collection. Monty Irving there. And then two 1952 tops to close it out. We have the 1952 tops of Billy Pierce. It's a great looking copy. Absolutely love Billy Pierce. Great left-handed pitcher. One of the best pitchers, starting pitchers, in the 1950s. So the back of the card looks like. Really just thrilled to add this to the collection as well. Love Billy Pierce. Want to complete his run someday. And to close it out, we have a 52 tops Gus Zerniel. Big power hitter back in the day. Which explains the six baseballs on there. Just such a cool looking card. Given the okay sign. Which he's actually... Um, Trying to say three games. In three games, he hit six home runs. Just thought that was really cool. Love the love the color and the vividness on this on this copy. So on the back here, the, the back of the the card is a red back. Uh, these come in um, black back or red back. First eighty cards of the set was the first uh, print run. And if you see a black back, that means it was uh, one of the first issued. But later, after they, they tweaked the color, the vividness of the, of the photos, and put out additional runs, they also made these red backs here. So that's how you can tell if it was an early, early print run or a later print run. So I was looking for a red back just because I love the front of this thing. So cool. And I don't mind the red back either. Just a great looking picture of Gus Zerniel. He hit six home runs, and he even says on the back here, six home runs in three straight games, which ties the Major League record. And he ended up hitting a seventh in the fourth game. So that also tied an American League mark for most home runs in a four-game stretch. So pretty neat there. A cool card to add to the collection. Been wanting that one for a long while. Just a really neat card. When you think of 52 tops, you think of the big names, of course, the mantle and everyone, but um, besides the big, you know, Hall of Famers, uh, Gus Zerniel, this card just is just awesome. So thrilled to add that to the collection. Well, hey, everyone, thanks so much for watching and enjoy the hobby.